Data Center Service Management presents the IT profession with many challenges. System Center Service Manager 2010 can help you improve the quality of service levels and reduce the effort required to manage your data centers and meet these data center challenges. System Center Service Manager 2010 includes solutions for incident, problem, and change management that are based on best practices found in MOF and ITIL, a platform that includes a configuration management database, data warehouse, knowledge base, templates, and workflows, a flexible authoring environment for you to adapt and extend the standard processes to meet the needs of your organization without custom coding. This scenario demonstrates the integration between System Center Service Manager 2010 and System Center Operations Manager 2007. As a foundational concept of service management, the Configuration Management Database lies at the heart of all service management efforts in the organization, collecting, relating, and archiving information for client and data center systems in the form of configuration items, work items, and knowledge about all targets of management in the organization. System Center Service Manager builds a single, reconciled inventory of assets using information drawn from multiple sources. Service maps are used throughout an IT organization to clarify the dependencies between technologies and customers, as well as the impact on service delivery. Organizing management to reflect the breadth of the service boundaries helps to identify the resources for delivering a service as well as the consumers of that service, understand the interrelation of services in the organization, and it also helps to expose core services that support other IT service infrastructures. The dependencies required to create service maps in System Center Service Manager are sourced from a variety of integrated systems, from service components, from management pack defined distributed applications, and from custom distributed applications. Identifying the possible failure points in your applications and services requires that you know all of the dependencies for those applications and services. System Center Service Manager can import service maps from System Center Operations Manager and extend those to include relevant business information, end user information, and other service information. Service maps in System Center Service Manager allow you to better understand how issues impact your services, perform root cause analysis faster, and quickly identify the right course for remediation. Operations Manager monitors multiple aspects of target systems to determine the health state of those services. Here, we are expanding the custom distributed application to see the dependent, monitored components. The distributed application in Operations Manager has been imported into Service Manager. The items comprising it are the same. For example, the Website Components group in Service Manager contains the HR Web and Payroll items just as in the Operations Manager source. When an application service monitored by System Center Operations Manager stops unexpectedly, System Center Operations Manager detects the application failure and it generates an alert. The System Center Service Manager connector to System Center Operations Manager uses subscriptions to receive that alert. The alert is used to generate a new incident in System Center Service Manager and assign that incident to an IT Operations Analyst. An email is received by the appropriate IT Analyst or group of analysts designated as responsible for this application. The IT analyst reviews the email and based on its content knows that there is a problem with the HR Web application. The IT analyst switches to the Service Manager application service map and can see that a new incident has been automatically attached to the affected service. There is an incident icon on the website and the analyst can easily get to the incident for analysis through this view. As the IT analyst drills down into the service map component, the HR website, he sees the details of the site, location, application pool, log location, etc. 
There is an active work item associated with the website. This work item is the incident that was automatically generated from the Operations Manager event. The analyst uses the Service Manager console to open the incident ticket and view the knowledge collated in the CMDB appropriate to the configuration items involved in the incident. The analyst can submit certain configured tasks directly from System Center Service Manager through the System Center Operations Manager infrastructure to the agent managing the server. The results of that action are returned to the System Center Service Manager. Working with the Service Map component, the IT analyst goes right to the incident that is related to the component. Now the analyst fills out the incident form. Some information is already populated and he adds the affected user group. The analyst also assigns the category of enterprise application problems. Notice that the source is pre-populated as operations manager since the incident originated with an operations manager alert. Let's add a comment to the action log so other analysts will know what we've already done. Finally, we submit the incident. System Center Service Manager controls the resolution process. Once the issue is resolved and the incident is closed, System Center Service Manager synchronizes with System Center Operations Manager and updates the alert status, thus clearing the error. Now that the IT analyst has resolved the website issue, he can mark it that way in Service Manager and the Operations Manager connector will synchronize that status with Operations Manager. In the Work Items workspace, the analyst can filter the incidents and mark the current incident as resolved. Notice now that the incident no longer displays in the Open OM Incidents area. Because the analyst resolved the incident in Service Manager, the alert was resolved in Operations Manager when data was synchronized through the connector.